Prices on just about everything are being marked up these days. Families are being forced to adjust their standard of living just to make ends meet. And businesses are suffering. Senate Republicans have a plan to put a cap on the high price of gasoline during the summer travel months. They're calling on Governor Patterson to suspend the state portion of the gasoline tax. It would go into effect between Memorial Day and Labor Day. That's a time where there are a lot of cars on the road and gas prices tend to jump. Already, it's inching toward the $4 mark. If this bill is going to reduce the taxes on one of my, one of my constituents who wants to fill up with, uh, with a tank of gasoline, then I'm for it. Under this legislation, drivers in New York will save about 32 cents on each gallon. This includes 16 cents from the state's petroleum business tax, 8 cents from the state's sales tax, and 8 cents from the state's motor fuel excise tax. New York senators are asking local governments to waive its sales taxes of nearly 14 cents per gallon. And if the federal government rolled back its portion of taxes during this time, that would be another 18 cents in savings. You're looking at a total savings of 65 cents on a gallon if state, local, and federal governments opt in. This is not a Republican or Democrat bill. It is a common sense bill, and it is a bill that can be supported. This could provide a big boost for New York's tourism industries this summer. And while families and businesses will be provided immediate relief, Senate Republicans are also looking towards long-term solutions by investing in alternative energy sources. I'm Julia Lilkenzie, and this is your first look at the New York State Senate's commitment to tax relief and stimulating the economy.